you know what? Sometimes I do this and it's like the best thing ever. And it really is the best thing ever, but then I turn around and it's like, no, it's not. to date being transgender um simple question to that is no 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 i'm not even gonna lie to you uh i would say yeah but it's really not i promise you it's not and i'll tell you why and this is just for me my own personal opinion and what i go through i'll tell you why it's not hard and i'll tell you why it was hard um so let me tell you why it was hard first first of all i don't talk about anything that i have not been through so, everything I come to you about is with 100% facts of my experience and what Anaya has gone through and is going through. Um, it used to be hard to date for the simple fact that I didn't know who I was and I didn't know what I wanted. Um, I didn't respect myself. If you don't respect yourself, you ain't going to get nowhere. And in love, life, whatever, you're just going to be complete, a complete and utter mess. Uh, you're going to accept anything and everything that comes your way. And it, it is in the form of, uh, for me, it was came in the form of a masculine figure. Just because I wanted a masculine, that masculine connection. So it's like looking for it in all the wrong places. I think I said that before. Um, but th that was when it was hard to date for me just because I didn't have self-love and it wasn't respecting myself. Um, and I wasn't giving myself the attention and the love that I needed in order to find someone to match my vibration. Now I'll tell you why it's not hard because once I actually found some self-love and actually, and once I actually, leave me alone Sarah, once I actually found some self-love and once I actually started just... <laughs> getting my own little swag it kind of became very natural and very easy um i had saw something earlier today i'm not sure how old it was but of a story of uh his name is reese i think reese reese of a young man named reese who ended up committing suicide because he was bullied for openly dating a transgender woman and i was like oh it sucks it really sucks but if you're watching my videos and you're someone who is inter interested in transgender because i know some of the people i associate with are watching this um understand this do not let anyone make you feel like you are not a man or that you are less than because you date transgender women. anyone who bullies you or might mocks you for the things that you like are <sighs> when it comes to men I said this before, no real man is actually going to worry about the, the, uh, the what the next man is doing. Uh, if a man's mocking you or making fun of you uh, for whatever it is that you like, understand that they like the same thing. These undercovers, whatever, down low, whatever you want to call them. So just understand that and know that you are courageous and you are strong and you are, you are actually beautiful uh, for just living in your truth and being open and accepting of all individuals. So... When it does come today, and I want to give like a few tips on dating, um, just how you can actually find someone. Because it, it, I'm telling you, once you start loving on yourself and respecting yourself, like they just come, and then they come, and it, and it's not. I'm not talking about like the the booty calls come. You know, uh, we'll talk about that too. But I mean, like the actual people who are interested in transgender, who actually want to date you, take you out, who actually want to like build a future with you, they they come. Um, first things first, you have to, have to, and I know half of y'all, most, most people are doing this. I did it. We all did it. We're all victims of it. If you are on dating apps, which most people do use, uh, nowadays in order to meet their significant other, it's kind of, I'm not going to say it's stupid. <laughs> that's, that's, that's where we're, we're at right now. But if you're on dating apps, um, first things first, if they are, no, first things first. You should ask questions, all right? Besides the standards, um, um, sexual diseases and, um, you know, where you're from, this is kind of third. Ask, ask one important question uh, that I always ask. Like, do you have any friends that are, like, openly gay or, you know, I always ask that question because I can tell if this was going to go somewhere or if it can go somewhere 
if you, depending on who you who you surround yourself with. Now, if you're someone who is like a lone wolf, all right, now I gotta dig a little di bit deeper. But if you're someone who just is out there partying, fucking it up, having fun, like you got a lot of friends, if you don't have any friends that are of the LGBT community, then I can kind of tell that 50-50 chance right there there's a red flag. For me. For me. Um, not say a red flag because not saying like everyone has to be open to having friends that are LGBT, but if they're trying to date you, they have friends that are in the community. Um, I say in the community. I'm not even in the goddamn community. I am a part of the community, but I don't go in it. But that's number one. Number two, if they're not willing to meet you out in public, hang out with you, you know, go to a park, um, just go go to McDonald's, <laughs> something, you know. Um, if you're like, or if you are out in public and they're like walking behind you, or if there's like, it just kind of seems off, feels the vibes off, you'll be able to tell. Um, it's not it. It's not it. Trust me. It's really not it. Um, or if they want to stay in a car while you go, or you like, let's say you go to the grocery store together or something like that. Um, and like, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to go out. And like, they stay in a car. It's like, oh, huh? Why are you gonna stay in the car? What you got going on? You wanna go in the store if they never kind of like want to be seen with you? That type of thing. Um, red flag, ugh, not for you. Uh, number three. Number three. Stop giving it up so goddamn easy. Now I know we all have sexual urges. I know we all have needs. We all have wants. We're we're souls on a human experience. I was about to say we're human. I'm not. We're souls on a human experience. Um, so we have the, the needs and the wants and the sexual urges. And for some of us, they are stronger than others. Uh, others can repress these feelings, but some of us, we cannot. And for some reason, the stigma that of transgenders are just like freaks now, um, probably all that shit. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm a freak. Well, what a freak. <laughs> it's like I'm celibate now. I went through like my entire teenage years being so goddamn wild and adventurous and wanting to try it all. Now I'm just like... I'll save it for like whenever it's like right. But um, stop giving it up so easy. Number one, start having some self-control. All right. No one's going to take you serious if you're quick to give it up. Um, I'll give you a personal story. I used to engage with someone back in the day. Now, we stopped engaging in whatever activities we were engaging in. Um it's kind of like one of those friends with benefits type things. And then we just stopped or whatever. Life started happening. People started moving away and we just stopped. Fell out. Not fell out, but didn't talk. And recently, a uh, sad person came back and, you know, cool, cold, aesthetic. Let's rekindle what we had. <sighs> I know. All right. Things are a little bit different. I'm a little bit older. I'm a little bit wiser. I've had a couple of life experiences and I, I just know what's real. I know what's fake and I know what I want and what I don't want. And that's not it. Now, back when we were friends with benefits, I'm going to completely be transparent here. I was so damn stupid. I was so stupid and lost because I was dealing with someone who literally he was disrespectful as fuck. He would always, like, say he would, like, hit me or some shit. And I'm just like, I would sit there and be like, uh-huh. But, number one, you, I was bigger back then. And I was like, number one, you're smaller than me. So, I will sit on you. Uh, that was my excuse for everything. I will smush your ass. Um, so, I wasn't really worried about him hitting me. And, like, press, like, come on now. I'm, I'm from, like, one of the ghettos, ghettos in Houston. I will whoop your ass. But, um, I was just like, cool, whatever. Like, I wasn't really tripping on it. That wasn't really what... That came up in my my mind when he came back around, but it wasn't really just like why I said no this time around. This time around, I said no, but was because of the the experience, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the the self love I had for myself. Like, how can I put this? Because if I'm gonna be transparent, I'm gonna be completely transparent. Me gaining self love, it's not like the sexual urges won't come. It's more so like if I want it, I'll go get it. And there are plenty of options to go get it. So I'm very selective on the, 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 what it is that I want when I want it and where I want it from. However, in this situation, when I, so I'll put it like this. I was expecting when I told him, like, I wasn't really trying to go back down that route. Um, I was expecting, honestly, you know, like some disrespectful, whatever the case may be. I don't know what it is, but apparently... 
people are a lot more nicer to me than opposed to what they used to be when I was back when I, I feel like I feel like people are a lot more nicer to me now, like now I'm in a different energy state than I were back then. Because even about like a year ago, if I would have told someone, no, I don't want to do it, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, I'm chilling. I would have been like, well, the most disrespectful thing in the world, like bitch, you're training anyway, or fuck you, just, you, I'm just trying to get a nut or whatever the case may be, whatever. Excuse my vulgar language, by the way. But hey, this is what, this is real. Um, whatever. It was just disrespectful. And so I was like, okay, but I was expecting that from him. I didn't get it. Instead, I was just like, yo, mad respect. And also, I'm impressed with the change that you, like, <laughs> people, you never know who's watching you. Just put it out there. You never know who's watching you. Um, so it was like, okay, really, really cool, cool vibes. However, the difference this time around was, you know, after a day, you know, after I told him that, and he was like, you know, cool, mad respect. Dude literally was called me for like a week straight and was like trying to get me to go out with him. Like literally. It was like had his friend call me and his cousin call me. Two numbers I didn't know. They called me. Hey, you need to talk to my home. Bed. No. 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 <laughs> like seriously, when you focus on yourself, when you start loving on yourself, like it, the opportunities for... Not, I'm not, I don't want to say real love, but the opportunities to experience something more fruitful, more legitimate comes through because you are not only respecting yourself, like it's not just about you respecting yourself. Other people can see that you are respecting yourself. Other people can also pick up on my energy and my vibes. Now, I am a transparent individual. I will tell you straight up, hey, this is what I want. I ain't got time to wait. I'm in the mood. Got to go. Got to get it. Now, if you are one of those people, there is nothing wrong with that. We, Like I said, we all have sexual urges. Get it while you can. Because, hey, there might come a day where you can't get it. You know, you're going to want it real bad. And you're going to be like, well, I wish I would have did it. Just make sure you protect yourself. Um, always, you know, get some holy water. Get the double wrap if you got to. Whatever, whatever the case you got to do. Uh, but just make sure you're careful who you are with. Like, who you're laying with. And... You'll be all right. You should be all right. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. People are crazy. But, so, number four. Number four. And this was personally for me. And this also relates to my um, the sexual urges and things like that. When it comes to dating. Now, if you are trying to date to actually just date, like you're just playing around or whatever, you don't really have to take this advice. But if you're actually trying to date to find someone, to actually find a companionship. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a companionship where it's like a long lasting relationship. You could just be trying to find someone who matches your vibe. Like you can, like believe it or not, you can sometimes get like, you can get off just by having like great conversations with people. Um, it doesn't even have to be sexual conversations. It's, you just literally, a masculine and feminine en energy just connects and you can just like get off on that, you know? And you can just be like the greatest of friends. You can just get off on it. Hey, it happens. It's real. Um, if you are looking for like a deeper connection, something more along the lines of long term, you know, someone to take you more serious. Here's what I suggest. I suggest that. Now. This is going to be hard, but it has worked and it's. It works. I'll put it like that. It works. A um, couple of things. Try celibacy. Like, I'm not saying you have to put a time limit on it, but literally take your time and get in to know someone. I'm not telling you to fall in love with them, but ugh, fall in love with every aspect of them without sex. Fall in love with their voice. Fall in love with their look. Fall in love with their, their past. Fall in love with their pain. Fall in love with their, the, their beautiful moments, you know? Fall in love with the wisdom that they have, the knowledge that they can give you. And vice versa, because uh, I'm pretty sure there are some cross watchers who are watching this. And cross watchers, if you don't know what that means, that means it's someone who is interested in transgenders. Because I know there are a lot of people who watch my videos who are interested in transgenders and probably is wondering like what we think or the things that we go through or whatever it is. Um, so, you know, try try to just fall in love with this person. I don't want to say on a physical level. Try to fall in love with this person on a spiritual level. Try to fall in love with everything that they've been through. Try to fall in love with everything that they want to do. Um, try to fall in Don't try. Fall in love with 
exactly who they are right then and there. Um, I can tell you from personal experience, I've fallen in love so many times with people who were broken when I met them. Like, broken. Some people were broken. Some people were pretending to be broken. Some people were literally just a hot-ass mess. But when you, I, I found, I found, if you can fall in love with someone when they're like literally at their worst, come on now. That's real love. That's real love to actually fall in love with someone or to love someone when they are at their complete and utter worst. Like if you can see someone when they are just like down and out at their wits end and they're tired, it's just, it's really one of the most beautiful things in the world. And a lot of times I found out, I found out that when falling in love, like especially like in this, when they transgender, um, some, now, let me, let me not say that. I'm not going to say that. I will say this. Um... Uh, well, I'll say it. I found out that a lot of times when I've fallen in love, I've fallen in love with people who are just completely tired. They literally thought the same way as me, especially like when it came to women. They were just like completely tired. <laughs> now, I'm not saying you have to find someone like this, but it's tired. Like literally tired. Um, you literally, if you're trying to find someone to have that that long lasting situation with you have to literally find someone to match your vibration it doesn't really matter if it's black white asian chinese this is that and the third me personally i don't want to say this because i don't want to put this out there but i have my own personal preference and it's not of my own community just because of the the things that that come with it and ain't nobody got time for it but, you know, love is love. Love is everywhere. You can find it in any shape and or form. So, start being more open to options. Just because someone doesn't look the best doesn't mean that they can't be loved. And I noticed that, especially like with trans, a lot of people, you try to find people that just like look good. You know, you try to find people that look the best. Like it's always about, or not just in trans, like with gay people in general. It was just, it, you got to look the best. Like it's like you, in the black community. It comes off like you got to look the best. You have to have like a great body. You have to have, um, you have to have good money, cars, this, this, that. You just have to be like out there, like just doing a damn thing. You have to pretty much be a baller, shot, shot, I said baller, shot caller. You have to be doing something like where people are actually like paying attention to you. Like you have to be flashy in a sense. And that's just like, that's just so ugly. That's just so nasty. That's just so, that's so fake. That's just like the most, just the most fakest bullshit. And I always like to say, I was respected and I was accepted before any other race before I was my own. And that's still true to the day. So it's just easier for me to like accept people outside of my race. It's just not even, it's not easier because I accept everyone. It's just a knowing that it might be from outside of my race. Or if it is from inside of my race, I'm cool with that. But I'm just saying, just be more open to who you think would be the person that you could be meant for if you believe in stuff like that. Uh, some people don't. Some people just go with the flow. Some people just flow through life. And if you're one of those people, hey, I'm not judging you. Go for it. I promise you. Fuck it up half the time. Do you, boo. All right? Um, but when it does come to dating, always be open and understand. Not open. Always be understanding of not just yourself. Be understanding of other people. Because like I said, like you don't know what other people go through just because you have to put yourself in other people's shoes you know they the men who you're trying to date are going to have to go through the same thing that you went through and are still going through if they aren't and this isn't for someone who if, if someone is new in in this game or just like coming into it because believe it or not I, i'm not gonna say believe it or not we all, we can all believe this but i've been in situations where i was not even dating but just associating with people who were not necessarily in this game, but just trying to come into it or starting to come into it or starting to have questions about it. And I, I can honestly tell you that if you are someone, if you are dating and you do come across someone who is just now coming into the game and who is like trying to figure things out, <sighs> it's going to sound harsh, but this is just my own personal opinion. Don't take them serious. Do not take them serious. Don't even, just don't, just don't. Um, I wouldn't even say, I would say like assist them if they have questions or guidance, but don't get attached. 
Don't get yourself involved. Damn sure don't lay with them. D don't do that at all. Don't do that because if you just lay with them, then guess what? You just got trapped. You got tricked. Um, literally, you know, just answer some questions if you got to answer some questions. But don't put don't put your energy. Like, don't even put this much energy into it, into that person. Because it's not saying like you're wasting your time, but you're wasting your energy. And I'm going to tell you from my own personal experience. I used to chase, I was chasing love and there were so many damn love offers right in front of me and I couldn't see them because I was so blinded. I was so damn blind. And you, it's, it's, it's easy to get blind, especially like when you find someone who they walk in and it's like they look all good, you know, the sound of their voice just makes you melt, you know, and then it's like you see them, you're just like, oh my gosh, you dream of them. You know, you have these these moments and it's just like, oh my God. you can't see you, you really can't see. Understand this. We all go through karmic situations and karmic life lessons and karmic life lessons is literally just repeated cycles um, of the same shit that that broke you, hurt you, caused you pain and whatever the case may be. Um, notice them when they're coming in so that you can avoid these these moments where your shit's going to fall apart. And you will make it. You will make it. I promise you. There's someone out there's someone for everyone. There's over like what billions of people in the world. I don't know how many exactly, but there's like billions of people in this world. All right. Do not tie yourself down to just one person, just one option. Get yourself out there and figure it out. Now you'll know when you found the one. You'll know when you found the one. Trust me. You'll know that. That's kind of like one of those things where it's like I don't care who you talk to. I don't care how many people you try to talk to. It ain't going to feel the same. It's not going to hit right. It's just going to be like a, still going to be like a longing. So it's like, you know. So always, always, always be paying attention to stuff like that. But sometimes you meet them. Sometimes you don't. It might not be in this life circumstance, a life life experience. Maybe in the next one. Just have fun while you're at it. Take dating. This is just a game, all right? Dating is nothing more than a game. Don't take it too serious. And if you are trying to take it serious, Lower your expectations. Just have high expectations for yourself. That way you can attract the best, but don't ex have expectations of other people. Because then you're going to be disappointed. Because no one's going to be able to live up and match to you or the, the things that you want. You know? Uh, that's why I had to get rid of my damn list. However, my communication thing still stands. You ain't talking to me. We ain't got nothing to talk about. Like, don't not. Do not, not try to get with me and like we not about to be communicating like we ain't got to talk every day but i think that was the most important i think that's what i miss when when i was dating like good morning text or good morning phone calls actually i'm lying the one thing that i missed about being in a relationship was being on the phone until falling asleep that was the first ever dude who i was in a i fell in love with he literally spoiled the hell out of me he had me on the phone every single night until I could not stay up no more. And I was like, oh my God, this is love. <laughs> and it's not love, but I, I kind of miss those things. I miss those moments. I kind of wish I had those moments. I could get them. I'm not doing it. But always be choosing to love yourself, to respect yourself, to honor yourself, to honor your temple. All right? When I say honor your temple, do not let any negative or toxic energies in. All right? Do not. Do not fall victim to these traps, all right? Always be choosing to pay attention. Always be choosing to listen to your intuition. Always be choosing to understand not only yourself, but others. Listen to yourself. Listen to others as well. Listen to the things that people need. Listen to the thing. And if people aren't listening to the things you need, dip out, all right? Just dip out. Chunk a deuce, dip out. I promise you. They'll miss you before you miss them, all right? Um... With that being said, look. Oh, I so wanted to keep my hair like this for my birthday, but I'm probably not going to be able to. Look, yeah, I'm not going to be able to. There's a snag already. Oh, time to come out. And I just put it in this morning. Don't like it already. All right.